Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Geektopia Island. My name is William, and we're going to go through another day of Cardwell's Cauldrons. Now, as you can see, Kevin's not with here with me today. It's because we had, you know, work scheduling and everything. And to fix that, to stop that ever again, please like, share our videos, spread us out like a good old, good old plague, please. So we can actually start doing this professionally, get better equipment, and just entertain the world if you must. With that, we're going to do another, not really a special edition per se, but we're going to go ahead and update one of the older decks that I went through called Graveyard Contracts. Now, because of the set rotating, I had to change it, and since I can't really grab all the other new cards that I can get for all the weird other, you know, theme decks like pirates and merfolk and dinosaurs and all that fun jazz. So I just go ahead and update the old one that I have. Now, of course, Scare God, he's a little pissed off at some of them. He had to, he had to cut them out of the contracts, take their souls, what, whatever a Scare God would actually do here. But he brought in some new guys. He got some paperwork filled out. And let's go ahead and go through and I'll show you who he hired. Of course, we'll go through the creatures. And of course, Big Daddy, uh, the Scarab God here. You can read what he says. You know what he does now? I knew when set rotated, this guy's going to be everywhere. And if you saw any of the streams last week, like uh, Star City Games, you realize he is almost in every deck up there. Almost. Now we'll first start with the old returning guys that was able to keep their contracts up to date. And the first one is Tomet. Now I had three of them starting deck. Wharf Infiltrator got knocked out. I'm not sure how good he'll actually be because he actually relies on <clears throat> him being embalmed or eternalized through Scarab God or Scarab God eternalizing anything. And of course Dream Stealer, the other one they got to stay, has to rely on him being eternalized. So. I don't know if I want to just have this dude in here just for those hope sakes because I might not even draw those other two cards and he's just sitting there as a 2-2 being like that. Uh, and of course I mentioned Dream Stealer. I feel like in this type of deck he's still good. Uh, his stats aren't really that well anymore. I mean 1-2 Menace, cool. Hopefully he'll become a 4-4 Menace to be able to get rid of all the, the cards in the opponent's hands. But we'll see. Of course, Fairground Warden. Uh, he's also a returning guy. 1-3 uh, three for 3. He gets to steal a dude. The board changes. I really like him still. Uh, I know he dies the lightning strike, but we'll see what happens. But also, one of the new cards is Hostage Taker. Speaking of Hostage Taker, he is one of the main additions of the new deck. He's extremely powerful, and I wish I was able to grab him before... Uh, he's spiked up in price, but overall a great creature. Be able to come into play, still a dude or artifact, because that actually does matter now still in the sta new standard format. And then be able to play it next turn. I mean, that's crazy fun, right? And with Scare God, do it at the end of the turn, on your turn, you got a new creature or artifact. Thank you, Scare God and Hostage Taker. Wombo Combo is what they, we call that. No. A old creature in the revolt set but new to the deck is gifted aether born he's still a solid creature two three lifelink death touch uh the death touch is what's really relevant that i wanted it kind of replaced the eldrazi that had death touch for a two as well sure he can't draw you a card but to be able to instant speed bring back a death touch creature when you need it to kill a dude is very reliant and it slows people down so you can actually build up what you need to for the scare of god or for the other creatures as well now a good great new addition to the deck is kaiso freebooter he costs two one two flyer which is pretty decent all right already and he also duresses which is very nice but it exiles the card underneath him so the opponent reveals a hand you choose something great that's going to be good against you maybe a kill spell for your turn three turn four or a counter spell for your turn three turn four it's just very great and with the, of course returning theme scare of god you can do it into turn anytime and pull some tricks under pull the rug underneath your opponent as they say also next i'm not sure about this guy he is just a small utility creature but 
hopefully when he becomes a 4-4 and he keeps getting a swing in, which is pretty nice. I might take him out to bump up the numbers of the other creatures, but we'll see how this guy works out. Uh, three cost, 2-2, two, two, Frost Links. Comes into play, he's a Merfolk, and he taps a dude, and they can untap during the next untap phase. Uh, all I'm always thinking is about doing it instant speed to tap a guy before they attack, or take down their blocker so you can swing for game. I really hope he works out. Um, like I said, he's probably the weakest link in the deck right now. Well, when I play him, I'll see how it goes. And if you play this, if you're, if you actually build these decks together and play it, and he doesn't work out, let me know down in the comments below. I would like to really see if he does make a, a splash. I, I know I'll probably be throwing in the Merfolk deck because there's not really that many Merfolks around right now, and he's okay. He's decent. Now let's get to the spell, shall we? Uh, three of Fatal Push. The returning card, it's just good. It's just really good. Next <laughs> is uh, the other returning is Harsh Scrutiny. You get a creature out of their hand because that's what you want. You want to fill their graveyard as well. And you scry one for one black. Good turn one play. Uh, another returning card. Unburden. I still really like this card only because it, it I always liked Mine Rut. But this one has cycling. You know, you know the drill about this card. They discard two cards and hopefully you have more cards in your hand than them. Done. Or if late game they don't have any cards, you draw a card. It's just really good. And of course you want to fill up the graveyard. And with so many graveyard hate right now, you can fill up the graveyard for them and get rid of it if you need to. It's just wonderful. Next is a new card, Veraska's Contempt. I really enjoy this card. It exiles, which gets rid of all the gods, definitely Romanat Red or Scarab God that you'll be fighting against. Instant speed and you gain two life. It's feel like overall it's a better anguish unmaking because you don't lose the three sure it can target everything but this gets rid of planeswalkers as well and i feel like it's just a great kill overall at the moment the with grasp of darkness gone it's kind of hard to get rid of creatures early game now and never to return as a as a sorcery which is like blah because I get it, because Hero's Downfall was too good. Instant speed removal for Creature or Planeswalker for 3 mana is just too good. So to be able to bump it up to 4 and you gain 2 life, I feel like that's a pretty good trade. Uh, that fills out the spells. Uh, with the lands, of course, I don't know. I haven't been able to shuffle it together. But with the buddy lands coming in, it makes it so much easier. Because even with the cycle lands... There they count as, you know, an island in the swamp. So therefore you drop that turn one tap, turn two, you have a buddy land activated. Yay, it's all good. I'll put the list down below uh, in the details so you can actually know how many I have. Uh, basically I just put in four drowned catacombs, four glacial fortresses, and bump the cycle land lands down a little bit. Now with that we'll go ahead and go to the sideboard. Uh, even right now, I'm even thinking about changing some cards out of it, because you do need to disrupt your opponent's sideboard nowadays. Uh, there is a one drop black, I do believe it's instant speed, remove three cards from the graveyard. Oh, I'll post it right here, I can't re remember the name of it right now. But I kind of want to do that too, that's super good. But with what we do have on our sideboard, we have uh, one more Dream Stealer for control matchups, because to be able to remove their hand, it's just good, you know? Uh, one Noxious Gear Holt. I don't know, I want this card to be good, I want it to be used. It's a six drop, kill a dude, gain life. Uh, I only have one for now to test him out. Uh, re also returning, Essence Scatter. It's just a great counter spell for creatures. If you're playing against mid ranger aggro, that's a perfect start to do. Uh, uh, the next up, a returning card as well, is four negate. Like I described in the last video, it's we don't have any counter spells main deck but you bring that in you destroy all their kill disruptions planeswalkers counters just everything that will just help you in the long run especially against control uh the new cards of course is three duress because that card is just great in sideboard uh you take out your fatal pushes against control and bring in duress and it's 
it has the same effectiveness just great overall and of course walk the plank I have a three up there I hope it's good two drop sorcery kills always just like iffy and you don't want to ever put it in main board because of what if you go against the merfolk deck then you might have up to four dead cards in your hand you never want that never it's the same thought I had with doom blade destroy target non-black creature you might run against black hell you're playing a black deck so why can't they so you never want that card actually in your hand at first great card but only sideboard for now and there you have it that brings the deck to a close uh, the, again I call it graveyard contracts I hope you enjoyed the video my name is William and thank you for, for joining us again here at Geektopia Island again if you like to see Kevin be able to be free make us popular make us rich hopefully we can get there and to do that please like the video subscribe to us share us all around the world and we'll be entertaining you for the rest of your lives have a good day go ahead and like comment subscribe and keep up to date with our future content and, and please join us on our social media and check us out on twitch